Uh, my name is Steve Vitella, the CEO of the Conservation Alliance of Kenya. And today is a great milestone in an organization that started uh, operations in 2020, where now we can say we have direction and we can uh, then begin to plan around the key areas of focus that we have identified uh, so that then we can uh, work together with other people uh, so that we can achieve our vision uh, for the organization. Uh, my work as uh, the CEO is largely to coordinate the sector uh, so that as the sector, the sector designs and implements conservation actions that we are working jointly and that we are supporting each other uh, so that uh, we may create a better place where people, nature and the economy thrives. Uh, my name is Lucy Warenge, the chair of the Conservation Alliance of Kenya and really excited today to be launching our first strategic plan to help bring forth the synergies needed for the important conservation work we all have been doing. Kenya has lots of conservation actors doing great important work, but the fact is we continue to lose biodiversity and wildlife at an alarming rate. So it calls for us to synergize and pull together to ensure we will have impact at scale. And so this strategy helps us pull together in a more focused manner, helps us find ways of engaging and partnering with government and private sector, but also helps us measure progress. How do we ensure that all these efforts are leading to not only better conservation, but better livelihoods in the lands on which conservation occurs, in the lands in which our biodiversity is richest. So this is a plan not just for us as the Conservation Alliance of Kenya, it's a rallying plan for all Kenyans to engage in support of our environment, which is our collective responsibility. My name is uh, Dorothy Kidae and I'm a new board member just elected today. First of all, I'm really excited and I give a lot of honor and congratulations to those who came before me. I think and I know conservation is not easy. I've been in the climate change world for some years now, um, but they have made a huge, huge effort. What I bring to the table is private sector private sector partnerships and research mobilization, where I have experience. And why is this important in conservation? Um, COVID-19 was a very good lesson for us that um, if, if animals or, or, or animal parts or live animals uh, find a way within the value chain of humans, then it can cause a whole breakdown of the economy. And, and, and you know, we were on lockdown for about two years. What I, I like about our strategy now, it talks about people, nature, and economy. Mm. And those are three key, th key areas that will ensure that nothing is left out. Mm -hmm. So we're not just conserving, um, and, and, we're, uh, and we're not just conserving, but we're conserving to also ensure that there's economic gain for the people, for the country, and any stakeholders that we're involved in. The private sector is very critical to this. And we're calling out to all private sector to really be part of our new strategic plan. We will be sending this out to several companies uh, in Kenya and across the world because we believe that um, this, is, this, this would really add to your return on investment, especially when you um, invest in people, in nature. At the end of the day, it's a full circle. In addition, we will be talking to you about our plans on shareholder value. We do understand private sector are very keen on shareholder value, and we want to be talking about that with you.